It's no secret that video production is an expensive process. Whether you're buying cameras, lights or software, the costs all add up and it's very easy to run up a high bill with only a relatively small amount of kit. In this video, I'm going to show you some free alternatives to expensive production software to open up creativity for everyone, no matter their budget. To start with, let's cover the base layer of any post-production, editing. Once we've filmed all of the shots needed, we need to glue them together somehow. And so obviously editing software is the way to go. There are so many options out there, almost all of them with a decently sized price tag. However, if you've just spent a not so small amount of money on a camera and computer and maybe some lights, spending more money on software isn't really going to seem that appealing. Some of the most popular video editing software in large production houses is Adobe Premiere, a long-standing offering from one of the largest production software companies in the world. And it's in equal standing with Avid Media Composer, also used by large studios with large budgets. However, Adobe Premiere is considerably cheaper, coming in at around $20 per month. Can we get any cheaper than that? Well, yes, of course we can. Blackmagic Design offers DaVinci Resolve as their free software to save the day. Resolve is different from many other free software offerings as it's incredibly powerful. When compared to the other free video editing software such as iMovie, the endless list of features leaves the competition behind in the dust. Blackmagic's paid studio version of Resolve is featured in many top production houses around the world, not only for its renowned color grading facilities, but also its editing and post-production compositing capability. The free version of Resolve is almost fully featured with almost every feature available other than GPU accelerated effects such as noise reduction, which are for the full version. The free version performs exceptionally well even on large projects if you have a decent CPU inside your computer. Graphics card acceleration isn't available on the free version, but millions of people use this software every single day and produce some incredible work without spending a penny. It can also run on relatively weak computers provided you use the built-in features such as proxy generation to allow Resolve to optimize your project media to make it something easier to work with. Resolve is an extremely powerful piece of software and the fact that it's available for free is mind-blowing once you look under the hood and see just what it can do. It's also worth noting that if you decide you love Resolve as much as I did while using the free version, an upgrade is only $295 as it's a one-off purchase, which is a huge, huge plus for me as I hate subscription software with a passion. All future software updates are also free for life. However, if you buy certain hardware items such as a speed editor or indeed a camera, you're given two licenses for the full studio version, unlocking GPU acceleration and other useful features. The link to DaVinci Resolve's free version will be in the description down below. Up next, let's look at 3D production software. Sometimes you need to demonstrate how something works, but you don't have the time, budget, or handiwork skills to be able to pull off making a physical demonstration model yourself. Or similarly, you may need to add some creativity into videos and add a bit of adventure to the story. Of all the production software genres out there, 3D design and animation software is almost always the most expensive and often the most difficult to learn and master. From Cinema 4D, a product popular with animation artists, costing around a not so crazy £55 per month, up to products like Autodesk Maya, used by studios such as James Cameron's production house on films like Avatar, costing £250 pounds per month, not including the enormous cost of hardware powerful enough to run this software to its full potential. It is a very costly way to make 3D content. But what if you want to find out if 3D design is your thing? What if you've never done it before and you need somewhere to learn before wasting hundreds or even thousands of pounds of your hard earned money on software you can't even use? Luckily, a product called Blender comes to the rescue. Blender is an easy to learn, free to use 3D modeling, animation and compositing tool, hosting all the best features from many of the paid software alternatives, but without the huge price tag. From fluid simulation through to complex subdivision modeling and animation, Blender offers everything you could need within one package with no need to spend a penny at all. Of course, if you enjoy what they do, you can always donate to the Blender Foundation to keep this project going as the entire software's existence comes from some very generous volunteers making this software for everyone to use completely free of charge. 
Another brand new alternative is Unreal Engine 5. Used by some of the biggest movie production houses and game studios in the world, Unreal Engine allows artists to make the biggest worlds imaginable in real time with no rendering times, allowing you to bypass the lengthy wait you'd experience with other software whilst it compiles your video. Not only do Blender and Unreal Engine allow you to make entire productions for free, it interfaces with some of the best rendering engines out there, meaning you can get the most realistic looking renders with no issue at all. Firstly, what is a rendering engine and why do you need one? As all of the scenes we create in 3D aren't real, meaning they don't exist in physical form, an algorithm has to work out the lighting calculations using the graphics card to perform incredibly complex mathematical processes. All render engine developers have worked out their own algorithms to offer different services. Some trade off photorealism to achieve higher render speeds, whereas other render engines achieve a true to life image but at the cost of extremely slow render times, and of course, some sit in the middle. Likewise, some are reasonably expensive, such as Fire Neo coming in at £100 a month, whereas some companies offer cheaper alternatives, such as Otoy's Octane Render at only £20 a month. But what if we want something free? Luckily, once again some generous souls come to our rescue. Firstly, Blender has a built-in render engine called Cycles, which can produce incredibly realistic results, all included for free with Blender itself. Cycles' main characteristic is its path tracing capabilities, meaning it can render imagery by simulating how light reflects on objects by streaming millions of rays of light around the scene. This path tracing feature is found on the expensive rendering engine software alternatives as it produces the best and most photorealistic results so it's certainly worth looking into as you can easily match their results without spending a penny. Some alternatives which aren't included within Blender but are totally free. Unreal Engine 5's native renderer is exceptionally powerful and faster than all of the other renderers combined, allowing for real-time rendering. This is probably the best one to pick out of all the options due to its unbeatable quality to speed ratio. And when paired with the brand new Nvidia Omniverse kit, you can create incredibly real to life renders in almost real time speed, which is extremely impressive. Lux Core Render, which produces exceptional render quality at the cost of very slow renders. If you have an AMD graphics card, Radeon Pro Render is a fantastic solution which works on both Windows and Mac exceptionally well. Finally, a slightly outdated but still exceptionally good choice is Yaffere. So, we now have all of our visuals created, but we need a way to stick them all together. We need compositing, and there are a few options to choose from here. Firstly, if you're working in a non-commercial setting and just using software to learn, then Foundry's Nuke software is pretty much the best in the business. Many top-end production studios use Nuke on some of the biggest movies and their non-commercial free tier is great for learning how compositing works. It's almost fully featured and only limited by a project resolution of full HD. There's no time limit and no watermarks. Nuke features a node-based system for all compositing tasks, making it super easy to visually understand what's happening in the scene without complicated nested sequences hiding in layers all over the place. Once again, Blender is next on the list. Blender's never-ending set of useful tools also covers compositing and is useful and easy to learn node-based system means everything is easy to understand. Ideal for visual learners like myself. DaVinci Resolve's Fusion page works in a very similar way to Blender's compositing system using a node-based working system. However, on certain projects, it will render all the processing much faster, especially if you're working on a Mac with a new M1 or M2 chip. Finally, audio production. Although the price of audio production software is cheaper nowadays than it used to be, the price may still be a little too much for those on a limited budget. If you're looking for a professional audio workstation that doesn't break the bank, start by looking at Reaper. Although technically this is a paid product with a 60 day free trial, I know of many musicians and producers who have just kept hitting the I'm still evaluating button way past the 60 day limit. The software never stops working, it just keeps going forever. 
However, of course, if you enjoy the software after the 60 day mark, then I do recommend paying the very generous $60 purchase price to unlock a lifetime license. For a less guilt tripped free audio workstation, check out Apple's GarageBand, which is essentially a more basic version of Logic Pro, their professional DAW software. It's reasonably limited in functionality, but still offers more than enough to get you processing audio for video productions, such as basic compression and EQ plugins. Ableton Live Lite is another solution which is often bundled with production hardware packages, meaning you can get straight on with mixing. However, this software is limited to only 16 channels. DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight page is another great alternative if you'd like to keep everything within one software as much as possible. Fairlight supports up to 2,000 channels of audio and is included with Resolve's free tier installation and functions just like a regular digital audio workstation with mix buses, complex automation and everything else you need to get productions finished. I make regular use of Unreal Engine 5, Nvidia Omniverse and DaVinci Resolve. Although I have the paid studio version now, I used the free version for well over a year. These tools are incredibly useful and the fact that they're totally free still blows my mind. The possibilities for what you can create using this software are endless and you won't be a penny worse off if you decide to try out the software I've mentioned in this video. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know down in the comments if you use any of this software and if you have any other great suggestions for free software, I'd love to hear them. Remember to like, subscribe and ding the ding dong and you'll see us in the next one.